thank you very much, Prime Minister. I'm delighted to be here in Riga and delighted to have had these uh, meetings with you this morning. I'm also pleased that we're having this, the third meeting of the Northern Futures Forum. I do think that the United Kingdom and the Nordic and Baltic countries, we have common interests, we have common agendas, uh, we also face many of the same challenges, and I think these sorts of fora where we come up with fresh new ideas for how we meet these challenges is, is an, excellent, uh, uh, an excellent setting. But I'm particularly de delighted to be the first British Prime Minister to make a bilateral visit to Latvia. I'm very proud of the part that my country has played in backing and always supporting Latvian independence, and uh, I think we can deepen the relations that we have. We've had good discussions on the economic challenges that we both face, uh, how we can work together to make the European Union more competitive, more flexible, more accountable to its citizens. And on foreign affairs, we've had a good discussion on Afghanistan, where we're both working to ensure the security both of that country, but also the security of our own countries too. Uh, on the economy, we both talked about how we are competing in a global race, how we need to tackle deficits, how we need to rebalance our economies. I am very impressed with what Prime Minister Dombrovskis has achieved here in Latvia with one of the fastest growth rates in the European Union and with an excellent record on reducing uh, deficit and debt. Uh, we've talked about how we can boost trade between our two countries. UK exports to Latvia grew almost 40% in 2011. Inward investment from Latvia into the UK was up by a third, but there's still more that we can do and we've discussed that, including the potential for British engineering companies to play a part in the 3.5 billion euro rail Baltic project. On Europe, we've agreed that we should work together to push a reform agenda in the EU to help drive economic growth. That means cutting red tape, it means completing the single market, especially in digital and in services, and we'll be discussing that at our summit later. Uh, and uh, we want to secure an ambitious free trade uh, agenda linking Europe to the fastest growing economies in the world and also pushing the EU US trade agreement, which could be a massive stimulus to the world economy. We also discussed the EU budget deal and agreed the importance of our members of the European Parliament backing the historic deal that we made uh, this month. Uh, it's been a very useful meeting. We're two like-minded countries. We face many of the same challenges and we're absolutely agreed on so many of the steps that are needed for successful economic growth that is pro-jobs, pro-enterprise something that is good for Latvia, good for the United Kingdom. So thank you again for the very warm welcome you've given to me and my team. Thank you, Mr. Cameron. Good morning, Prime Ministers. Um, my name is Leiva Rauchvargere, I'm from Latvian Public Television. Uh, Mr. Cameron, a little while ago you made a very loud statement that there are a lot of problems in the European Union and uh, that there even might be a referendum whether to stay in the Union or not, whereas Latvia is planning to even tighten our bonds with the European Union by possibly joining the Eurozone next year. So doesn't that mean that we still have different vision of uh, the future of Europe? And in that context, what exact projects or cooperation do you see between our countries? Thank you. Well, I think the cooperation between our countries is uh, there's bilateral cooperation, where we should be cooperating on trade and investment both ways. But there's also cooperation within the European Union. And of course, uh, Latvia is making the decision to join the single currency, that is your decision as a sovereign country, a decision that you're fully entitled to make. Britain will not be joining uh, the euro. But the whole point of my speech about the European Union, and I think this is an approach that uh, Prime Minister Dombrovskis would share, is that we shouldn't be asking every European country to do exactly the same thing in exactly the same way at exactly the same time. If we want to have a successful, open, flexible Europe that can appeal uh, to new members to join it, then I think it's particularly important we make sure it remains flexible. Uh, Britain is at the heart of the single market. It was a project that we very much drove, and we think it's the most successful part of Europe uh, as we look at the European Union today. Uh, so we're at the heart of the single market, but we're not a member of the Schengen Agreement. We maintain our own borders, uh, and we're not a member of the Eurozone. We maintain our own currency and our own uh, independent economic policy. But I think it's right that countries within the European Union can make these choices. And I think that a, a union that has flexibility actually is more likely to be successful and strong than one that uh, insists on a one-size-fits-all process. Uh, and I think uh, we had good discussions about this this morning. Nope.